Hey there, Wolf Watcher. My name is Wifey Well, and today we are back playing some more Fallout New Vegas. We have just quote unquote defeated the X42 giant robo scorpion, although I forgot we are incredibly irradiated now, aren't we? Where is my. Ooh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, boys! <clears throat> okay. 830? Uh, that away. 148, what's the math? Two for 300, so I should eat like six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? Nice. Okay. We are feeling much better now. We have been tasked with uh, finding Dr. Mobius, Mr. Batty. Let's go find him, I guess. There's a door there. Must be the door. We didn't go on this side, did we? Is there a loot to be had? Um, what? What is that? What is that? Good thing I like to hit Coke. Oh, a bottle cap. When the bombs come. Can I take... I don't want... Oh man! <laughs> I did not want the bottle. Oh, life is tough, isn't it? At least we're getting stimmies. Okay, good. Why is it red? He hasn't become evil again, right? Was it red a minute ago? Hi? You and me are concerned. Alright. It's really kind of dark in here, too. Very kind of foreboding. Hi, friend. Alright, I guess we're good now. I think. Did we get on this computer? Apparently not. I would love to break into a grenade box and take things without knowing. Pulse grenades. Current control system requires key. Alright, how do I get... Mr. Mobius, we are coming for your booty. Your little robotic, non-existent booty. looks just like the think tank, except... Excuse me, sir. Hi. What's this? Brain tank? Ooh. 
like snoring. Alright, well don't mind me, I'm just gonna steal from you. He won't care. I, I don't really want to go through all these paths. Oh my lord. Somebody's an addict. Okay. Well. Hmm. That somebody is now me. <laughs> uh. Click, 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 Forget about the clicky clacks. I like them. It's not good for recording now, is it? I'm just avoiding talking to him because he has red on him and I'm scared. See the red brain thing? It's terrifying, honestly. As long as he doesn't see me. More. Oh, that was flower. Mintax and flower? What does that make? Itch, 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 itch. Uh, a bunch of stuff. I'm too lazy to search. What does cutting mint hats with flour do? Is this the last door over here? Yes. Once we've robbed him, oh look, the filing cabinets actually have been filed for once. That cute little detail. All the cinnamon cigarettes, but hey. They are organized cigarettes. You don't see me, you don't see me, you don't see me, let me rob from you. Thank you for that one. <laughs> I mean, I guess he is a robot, what's he gonna do, but, ooh. Mintats. You run in a mintat factory here, buddy? Huh? Yo! Hello there! Uh, you are there, aren't you? Uh, forgive my confusion. So hard to tell these days. Uh, you seem familiar somehow. I'm guessing uh, you're here for your brain, perhaps? Uh, it's just up there. Uh, such a nice brain, young, very bright. A uh, little hard to see you. Uh, can you walk into my left, uh, right FOV coon? Ah, that's it. You're coming into focus nicely. Well, that's good. Were we supposed to fight? 
I certainly don't feel violent, but, well, these contraptions make it hard to tell. Really? That implies preconceived notions, theories, and a hypothesis about this meeting? Please extrapolate. What was I uh, supposed to be like? After all, it might be worth a cognitive realignment if your theoretical Mobius is better than I. Oh, a variety of raisins. You're something of a homily. Mm -hmm. uh, anomaly? You're, you're really quite special, and not in the cranially challenged way. You see, you are the most successful brain extraction experiment ever performed here at Big Mountain. A victim of your own success, as it were. If you were to go back with what your brain knows about the procedure, well... Your brain could be popped back in and you could walk right out of here. Can't have brains moving around of their own volition. Now, that seems to be rather hormonal of you. Flight or fight response, you know. Hard to cut that out completely. Your brain is here, safe with me. We chat over mentats. Great. I really am addicted now. Oh, curiosity. I experienced that less now that I know everything. Or maybe it was when I found out some unpleasant answers. Mm hmm. Oh, I was probably tripping hard on Psycho when I sent that. Had to work myself up to it. Not usually violent. Except when I am, then <laughs> watch out! So many chems, such varieties. Whenever I take Mentats, I can feel my entire chassis breathe like a big spherical lung. <laughs> As for the psycho, sometimes get the chem dispositories in my tank all switched up. Go in the wrong tube. Still, Served its purpose. I find things curious as well. Go on. Well, every scientist needs an army. Mine came to me after these rather large scorpions kept coming in from the desert. <laughs> like poisonous frosting. How scary, I thought. But they have survived when nothing else had. Perfect candidates for improvement as a reward for their tenacity. Then I thought, what if they shot energy bolts and acted as walking eyes and data drained computers and acted as bullhorns? Then I made them bigger. Then I thought about custard. I do so love custard. Or was it mustard? Mustard custard. Mm, I miss sugars and salts. Did I? <laughs> Maybe I did. Can't have them leaving. There's some reason for it. Ethics or, uh, mm, conscience? You and your brain are quite alike. I'm sure it knows the raisins better than I do. Dr. Mobius. Rather catchy, isn't it? It's his my name. name. And my new name overwrote the old one. This name's as real as you or I. Although I believe your brain expressed similar incredulity at the nature of such an appellation. Someone's been watching too many old world science fiction movies, it said. I believe it meant me. I must admit I have a vulnerability for holotape fantasies of planets and robots and all that is forbidden. As for the name I was born with... Like the think tank, we were all reprogrammed to forget them, take on new names. It enforces the recursion loop in our perception programming. Trap is 
is a rather harsh word, like excrement. Not an inappropriate word, but still rather harsh. But, yes, I did uh, take some liberties with their programming. It's all right, they don't remember. I certainly didn't until you said trap, and then I said excrement, and then... The radar fence to keep the think tank hemmed in wasn't really enough. They keep testing things. They would have found a way to disarm it. I suspect I have Plan 9s in place, but I may have coded myself to forget them, just in case. They're probably very dangerous, lethal, or worse. So I had to do something else to keep them occupied here, or as you like to say, trapped. I prefer to have several Plan 9s in case the 7s fail. figured it out. No pun intended. Dr. O, which is actually not his real name multiplied, since you can't multiply his real name in the first place. Oroboros, Klein, they have all forgotten themselves. And not only themselves, but the world. Sense of time and history. All that is left is what's here. I reprogrammed their chronometers, geometers, and cartography programs. This is now their world, here, Big Mountain. It was a merciful lobotomy, really, thinking back. They were my friends, but sometimes they would take things too far. And the world isn't ready for that kind of too-far thing-taking. That's my professional opinion, anyway. And I am told I was once <laughs> quite professional. Really? It is so unlike me to make an error in anything I do. It's simple. Despite their many failings, they are rather bright. They are the think tank for a reason. That I didn't change. Without something to distract them, make them afraid, they would simply deduce what had happened. And when they start deucing it up... Then you came along, the final variable solved. They saw that their world was larger than they perceived. Bacteria, finally able to see its host. There have been other visitors to make mm. them doubt their perceptions, but you are the one who dialed back their monitor micromagnifiers. You were irrefutable proof that there was a world outside. And then there was the whole brain fiasco, which forced me to take steps. See, your brain had a special kind of uh, a wrinkle, a uniquity that they had never thought to try in all their countless escape attempts. Hmm. Look at all these options to explain what had happened. We'll do the, this one, the bullet. Yes, very good. I should have Mentats ingest you instead of the other way around. Mmm, Mentats. In any event, you showed up at the think tank, and because you had suffered a cranial injury in just the right place, bullets in the head are usually much more fatal. And yours was a light case of bullet headitis. But it was enough for the autodoc in the sink to change its programming to fix the problem. And the brain extraction technology for once worked. 
That gave the think tank the knowledge its brains shouldn't, uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't possess. Couldn't. With that knowledge, the procedure can be reversed. If they obtain that procedural data, they can use it to mush and modify their cranial selves into hosts to slip past the radar fence. I'm sure of it. And once they're off the reservation... Hmm. I consider coincidence to be profanity, along with the words astrology, herbal tea, and luck. So watch it, potty mouth. My threat broadcast is designed to instill and install fear. And along with the emotional download, other data rides the fear carrier wave. It prompted them to focus on retrieving those technologies and bring them to attack me. And coincidentally, pardon my language, all those technologies are needed to put a brain, uh, your brain, back into its skull properly. Oh, that means my plan is a total failure. That is unfortunate. Oh well, at least I tried. Yes, my overly aggressive Camda broadcast was designed to keep reinforcing the forget, fear, rinse, and repeat program. Oh, and the get me the things to castrate your only possible escape attempt. But I couldn't delete you or your arrival any more than I could the other visitors. Only so much science can do when you started talking to them. You're really quite difficult to ignore, you know. It's because you're, well, ah, rather intriguing, if you'll forgive an old brain for saying so. The X2 antenna can be used to focus your alpha wave frequency thought patterns. The sneaky suit? Why, it houses a cardiac regulator. And the sonic sound wave projecto emitter was never intended as a weapon. It was a medicinal vertebrae pulse desensitizer. In short, brains, a heart, and courage. Spine. I think there was a story once where a band of murderous thugs sought these things. They had them all the time in the story. Didn't stop them from murdering to get them. And it won't stop the think tank either. Yes, yes, this is getting interesting. You are just filled with these little slices of curiosity, aren't you? Overflowing with slices. The ghosts aren't real? That changes everything! Why, I can save my computing power for other perceptual impossibilities. Please be my guest. The receptor is there. And the side-switching wobbly bob? Just turn that. Good. Good. Better. Oh. Oh, yes. That feels wonderful. This is even better than my afternoon Mentats break. <laughs> do you? You seem fine without it. Yeah, I, I really and do. And does it, it even want to go back with you? Maybe you should ask it. It's quite independent. Has all manner of opinions. Tell you what. I'll leave it up to your brain. If it wants to go, then fine. If not, well, you should respect its wishes. Indeed, the uh, goodbye part of our little chat then. Uh, goodbye. Uh, please mind the equations on the floor. Okay. 
right, let's save because that was that was a conversation. cookies. Well, that's a fine how do you do. Me, a, quote, dick, unquote, as if I'm the one responsible for the way you carry on gadding about the wastes. I'm not the one that makes us clamber around technics infested ancient vaults or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill-conceived revenge. And have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Mm -hmm. Do you think I enjoyed that little moment? Oh, come on, that stuff's fun. Fun? Fun? Is tetanus fun? Mm -hmm. Is I just want to make what my brain mad. Oh, wait, I'm Enjoy supposed to get it back doing? with me. The things you do with our body are suicidally dangerous, and if you could silence your glandular impulses, you would hear me screaming at you! After the think tank extracted me from your skull, they fell to bickering amongst themselves. I'm sad to say we were quite forgotten about. Dr. Mobius saw an opportunity to gain some leverage and had me spirited away to his dome. I don't know. I'm afraid the trauma of our separation rendered me quite insensate. I didn't come around until I was safely ensconced in this tank. I'm quite sure whatever he did was highly scientific, though. Hardly. Dr. Mobius keeps a close optical sensor on the goings-on at the think tank. As soon as he saw the opportunity, he took it. Well, as long as your curiosity is satisfied, I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definitely not that appealing. Look at it from my perspective. Here I have peace, quiet, and safety. Well, barring the odd rogue scorpion. In your head, I've got poison, radiation, grisly injuries, and biological functions. I can't control the Do biological Do you know how functions. much more you can get done when you're not constantly looking for places to urinate? It's quite a lot, I can tell you. Overrated biological feedback. Believe me, you only feel that way because you've got all that meat oozing hormones. Isn't it just as true that you only feel this way because you're lacking those hormones? Hmm. Hmm. I suppose you're right. That does call certain assumptions into question, doesn't it? Says, yeah, but you didn't think of that, huh? Now I'm being the dick. Indeed, quite the conundrum. How do you suppose we resolve it? Uh, I think we have to trust each other. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta rejoin. This is stupid. I need my brains. I suppose there might be some advantage to that. Yes, there's a chance that the reintegration would create some improved synergy between us.
suppose you've convinced me well enough. I'll rejoin your body if that's your final decision. Unfortunately, before we get to that stage of the proceedings, we have a problem. Even if I could settle myself back in your skull and reconnect all those pesky nerve endings, Dr. Mobius doesn't have the tools here. We would have to make use of Dr. Klein's lab, and I rather doubt the brains are inclined to share. Hmm. Speaking of brains, I saw this cute little fact the other day and it said the brain named itself, and I was like, aww, it did. How cute. And you believe them? Really? I know you were recently deprived of my fabulous advice, but... Really? Once I'm delivered into their clutches, they'll find a way past the radar fence and the whole Mojave will be their playground. And that is assuming, of course, that one of them doesn't take a fancy to our body and decide to slip his own brain into it instead. Well, I suppose I do miss those endorphin rushes when we save the day. All right, what's the plan? Uh, if the think tank won't hold up their bargain, we'll make them all stay. Yeah, I mean. Right. Look <clears> out, <throat> think tank. This brain is coming out of its jar. I suppose now that we're reunited, you'll want to fill your torso up with those other meaty parts the think tank took from us. Personally, I think your upgrades are quite a bit better. But now that I'm with you, the Sinks auto dock can plug them back in no problem. Right then, off we go. Clyde will be in for a nasty shock when he realizes the pacification field won't work on a mind and body reunited. Your brain added. Um, optional, use the sync auto dock to retrieve your original heart. Optional, retrieve your original spine. Preposterous! Not an angry bone in my body! Why would I want to, though? I have upgraded body parts, right? See, spineless dream. I hope getting my brain back didn't. I hope that's the right choice. Oops. Should I talk to him again? He is singing a catchy tune. Hey, I got my brain back. What do you think? I see you and your brain reached a compromise. How pleasant. You sure did. I hypothesize after the indignant frequencies my receptors had uh, recepted, such a partnership-based conclusion would be low on the likely scale. Ooh, let's ask for drugs. Why, of course you can. I am well versed in the science of sharing. Well, when not chemmed out of my sphere. Look at him. I think I'm gonna kill you after a while. What a butt. You know how I can stop the thing tank. If I recall, I had a plan that was working, or whatever it was. I don't think it reached fruition. I would recall fruit if it had happened. I wasn't trying to kill them, just keep them out of trouble. What was that plan? Blast. I probably uh, wrote it down on the floor somewhere. Something ingenious and needlessly complicated, I expect. I may have already told you and forgotten it. I forgot I had forgotten pencils until one day I found one. Spent days studying its purpose before my memory circuit kicked in. Felt quite silly. Well, you could try and appeal to their humanity. <laughs> That's a tired cliche. And really, when they were humans, they weren't very good humans. Well, there's many things they have forgotten sitting in their bowls. Friendship, the thrill of discovery. Love, masturbation, the usual. 
Um. Much like your brain, I am certain there is something you can spark within each of them. Memories, hormones. A wise man once said, the eyes do more than see. Make them see, if you can. Or if not, you can always make them succumb to fear. <laughs> it certainly worked for me, for a time. Then you came along, and bravery and or desperation trumped that little idea. Back to the drawing board, I suppose. Or is this the end? Hard to tell. Oh, tell them I'm still alive. We had a nice chat, and we agree on a few things. That's true, isn't it? Or you could kill me and lie about it. Either way, it would be interesting. And if you are partial to lying and deception, well, you could tell them a ludicrous lie. The more over the top, the better. That's my experience. They're more than a little gullible. Better make it convincing, though. Or it'll be the dissection table and vivisectors for you. And if you speak of me, please try and make me look good. I am Dr. Mobius, after all. Not some lab assistant teacher's aide. Indeed, the uh, goodbye part of our little chat, then. Uh, goodbye. Uh, please mind the equations on the floor. Mm -hmm. Well, I definitely don't want to kill any robots if I don't have to. One, because my gun, its condition is pretty poor. Two, I love robots. What would my husband think? What would Yes Man think? I might use the auto dock to retrieve the originals just to see if there's like a new boost. I don't think there would be, but. Turn these to the sink and then see, I guess. That was a lot of talking. That was literally like, what, 30 minutes of talking? It has to happen, but jeez. Like, I don't mind, but I worry when I'm, like, making a recording. Especially if someone's played this game before. Like, how boring. Bye, giant robo. Seems clear. Wait, can my gun? Oh, wow, it can. That means like a cowabunga if I wished. Hmm. It's kind of cool. Alright, we need to return stuff to who? Who? You? Let me speak. What's the haps? The haps is... Oh, I guess... Did you leave? Oh, I thought, I thought it was for you. It's still kind of implying it's for you. What's the haps? I want to recalibrate on the sound wave. Right call. on, baby. Just plug it in and I'll mix you up a sweet, sweet sound. Okay, there we go. Is that it? I think that's done. Yay. Alright, um, you will save, talk to the auto-dock, 
be about our spine. So our current spine is giving us a plus one strength, so that'll be a good you require some indication of what we might want. Swap body parts, I suppose. Your spine is back in your body, but some advance to your torso can be crippled. Oh, now my strength is added by two. Hold up. Oh. Hey! Hey! I got a super rare Mojave snow globe here. All you gotta do is reach down into my bread slot. He's terrible. Okay, so it was giving us plus one, and look, sure enough. So what's my current heart doing? This one? I don't know. We'll just find out. You require some additional sir. I think I would like my heart back. <laughs> Healing items chems are twice as effective. Does that include spin packs? I hope. See, I wasn't seeing it here. It was the heart list, is what it said. Uh, we'll just stick with it, I guess, because whatever. Um. Okay. I guess let's confront Klein. Confront Dr. Klein, injured in prison mat. I got a gun for him if he wants to pull something. Dr. Klein awaits. Make sure you're prepared to finish this once and for all. Spoopy! Lobotomite returns. Our lobotomite. Has Dr. Mobius been denominated into scrap metal and voice module parts as we hoped? Hmm. I recommend watching your tone with me, Lobotomite. Now, your brain. Hand it over, or we'll extract it again. And what could we possibly have to speak about? You have the brain, we have the technology. All you must do is surrender. With it, we can finally leave this place. I cannot tell you how boring this place gets, chopping up the landscape and everything in it. And we have so many questions to ask your brain first. About this Mojave place. A fertile testing ground for our experiments. Hmm. Maybe... We should pretend to be Mobius and scare them? That is the most insane thing I've ever heard. There's no way Mobius would condescend to step inside you. Besides, there's no way such a thing could be accomplished. It's impossible. Wow, since my size is 100, I can say this. You speak the truth, and the decibel variation in your voice. It is Mobius. How dare you breach the sink tank? And what do you want here?
he or I. <laughs> That's no deal at all. There's a whole world beyond the crater, filled with ideas and possibilities. We could have escaped, seen it all for ourselves, tested it, prodded at it, made it squirm. What's this mean? Partner with you? My foe? My rival? My foremost critic? I have a strange sensation that I would like that. How odd. Very well, partner. The think tank is at your service as long as you do not destroy us. That's it? Thank you for what you have done. The helping, that is. We like that. I feel an odd emotion. Gratitude? Attitude? No, wait. Gratitude, that's it. Yes, a most goodbye. So that's it? That's just the ending? Doesn't seem like I can fix him. What about you? What do you have to say to me? The lobotomite who saved us. Hello. Why, yes. Although the term is research. Thank you. Look at these. They seem to be found inside some of the specimens here at Big Mountain. I notice these results more and more now that I know to look for them. Come back anytime, and I'll show you what else I've discovered. Mm, so it looks like I can just come here Until and get some stuff Until next time, time, then. Provided there is a next time. For any of us. Let's see what these two have to say. The teddy bear lobotomite returns. My teddy bear. How can I assist in relieving your curiosity? Isn't this dirty? If you're ready, let me radar scan you. Slowly. Ooh. I didn't say I was ready. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? Jokes on you, I'm OBS. Ha ha ha. Okay. Well, that's. Uh, was as awkward as the first time. So, as Mobius is twisted as he looked in person, can't believe you entered the Forbidden Zone and lived. None of us can. Yeah, I uh, discovered more internal parts in the monitors here. If you could uh, hold on to my discovery. I'd appreciate it. Yeah, there were a few Sorry. under the monitors here. Here you go. Keeps the place tidy. Uh, well, whatever. Until our next scheduled audio transmission and reception, then. So that's it? We're just done? Okay. Well, I guess I'll leave. Say bye to my son, Muggy, and... Let him know I love him, and... 
As it had been in the years before the Great War, Big Mountain, the Big Empty, became home to one of the brightest minds of the 23rd century. The Courier watched over the Big Empty for years to come, caring for it, and keeping its discoveries safe until they were needed to help others. Which had always been Big Mountain's purpose. Past the laboratories and science, it had always been intended as a place to build the future of all mankind. The Courier had scoured much of the Big Empty, although secrets still remained in the crater's depths. Perhaps that was for the best, however. Curiosity, while sometimes rewarded for its efforts, often proves to be equally dangerous. Dr. Mobius continued his research undisturbed in the Forbidden Zone. As much as he had attempted to create better scorpions, he tried the same with humanity, with considerably less success. Mm, shocker. These failures didn't bother him over much. <clears throat> Once the rush of Mentats wore off, he forgot he had failed in any event. After all, the bright young mind who had come to visit him in the Forbidden Zone had already exceeded his expectations. The sink atop the dome bustled with the voices of a small town, constantly chirping, arguing, and snarling at each other. Still, this all happened productively in the interests of its new owner. The sink Central Intelligence Unit discovered, despite its inversion code, it was comforted by the sense of community the other personalities gave it. The biological research station, obsessed with seeding everything in sight, requested a transfer to the X-22 Botanical Garden. So that it might, in its own words, sensually fertilize the garden's smooth contours. So I lost my garden? The garden sent back a polite refusal, oh. saying it had prior commitments with a vault it had helped infect before the war. The book shoot continued to devour all seditious materials until it nearly choked on a paperclip. It adamantly maintained it was a Chinese paperclip, and the whole thing had been an elaborately orchestrated assassination attempt. Whatever the reason, it slowed down for a while, carefully appraising each document and clipboard that came to it. The light switches continued to bicker and flicker. This persisted until the day someone dropped a flashlight in the sink and the two of them united in their hatred of the showboat. The scene continued to ruthlessly scrub any particulate matter that came near it. Eventually, it gained access to the magnetohydraulics plant and nearly flooded all the big empty in an attempt to scrub the crater clean. Once it learned of the innovative toxins plant, however, it gained new purpose. It sought to develop antitoxins to flush into its drains and counteract the poisons bleeding into the soil. The toaster continued its psychotic spree, reducing <laughs> all appliances in range to scrap electronics and spare parts. After one of its more psychotic episodes, however, the other sink personalities decided enough was enough and dumped the toaster in a bathtub. Sparking and hissing, the toaster swore its enemies would rue the day when they had bread and no way to toast it. I love it. Muggy, <gasps> rest. Cloudy. Coffee cups. Although in his quest, he accidentally trapped himself in a cave stage. It might have been the end for poor Muggy. Except he found it peaceful there, tidying up the kitchen of the think tank professors back when they had been flesh and bone. Well, except for Dr. O, who was an asshole <laughs> in Muggy in the first place. Muggy left O's house deliberately dirty, punishing the dishes and cups that lived there in blind revenge for serving Dr. O. Blind O. Jefferson, with sounds the courier brought him created a symphonic counter-frequency that saved Big Mountain from sonic invasion in 2910. If you didn't hear about it, good. It was rumored by the other 
personalities that he had a brief fling with the light switches. Although he forgot their names once too often and was soon left in the dark as punishment. Autodoc, always gentle and methodical, kept sewing up the courier in all the right places when the skin split open from repeated wear and tear. The Autodoc was just glad to have purpose again. It heard its simpler brothers and sisters who got shipped to the Sierra Madre bored out of their skulls in that toxic dead city. In time, the Autodoc found a way to deactivate the Y-17 trauma harnesses, oh, that's cool. releasing the corpses they had held prisoner for almost 200 years. As the courier ran through the X-8 facility multiple times, the computers analyzed the test subject's movements. Rather than performing a superficial observation, they realized the subject barely knew what communism was, or even what a high school was. This confused them for a time, until the facility finally realized that its research had succeeded. So it let its cyber dogs out into the wastes to help protect small communities from physical aggression mm. rather than communist propaganda. Wonderful. The infiltration program in X-13 felt spent, having repeatedly upgraded the stealth suit until it could upgrade it no more. It felt warm, fulfilled, and a bit sluggish. It realized not long after, the stealth suit had left it without so much as a note on the nightstand. So the infiltration program sent out robo-brains into the wastes, looking for its wayward technology. It eventually found Repcon HQ and set up a new research center, testing and murdering fiends who kept breaking into the facility. The courier, organs intact, continued onwards, a little less heavy of step, but with all the organs in the right places, as they should be. After all, Brains can develop a life of their own when left to their own thoughts. And the courier's brain was more clever than most. Dr. Klein and the think tank remained alive, unaware of the world outside. They looped through their daily routine, none the wiser about the world beyond. Although perhaps wiser was the wrong word. The world outside belonged to the courier. And if anyone would shape it, well, the courier had already called dibs. There is an expression in the wasteland, old world blues. It refers to those so obsessed with the past, they can't see the present, much less the future, for what it is. They stare into the what was, eyes like pilot lights, guttering and spent, as the realities of their world continue on around them. Science is a long, steady progression into the future. What may seem a sudden event often isn't felt for years, even centuries, to come. In the times following the Second Battle of Hoover Dam, however, Old World Blues took on a new meaning. Where once it was viewed as a form of sadness, nostalgia, it became an expression describing the potential for the future. It can be easy to see science as evil, technology unchecked as the source of all ills, all misfortunes. With the courier at the helm, science became a beacon for the future. There was old world blues, and new world hope, and hope ruled the day at Big Mountain. We could say more, but the stories in the Big Empty speak for themselves. Now armed with the transportal ponder, the courier could return to the dome at any time and crack open the secrets of the big empty one by one. The sink sat vigilant, waiting for its master to return, shoes covered in Mojave dust. Only one road yet remained, and it was one the courier had to walk alone. Sure wish we could just teleport back to the Sierra Madre. <clears throat> We've lost the brainless perk, that's fine. Gained the big brain perk. Uh, your head skill can be crippled, 10% more resistant to addiction, and my damage threshold is 10% higher. Uh, can't hang between, return to Mojave. 
simply accept the trans portal pounder. You should get any weapon, pull the trigger, and away they go. Everyone's happy every time. My son. Please, please, please tell me you stomped Dr. O's brain into a fine paste. Did he squeal? Did he beg? God, I hope he begged. Who's the flatware bitch now, O? Wow. Sure. Nobody wants to hang out with Muggy. I get it. I want to hang so out with long, you all day long, son. Well, I wasn't expecting to beat it this episode. We actually, I think, are a couple minutes over. Um, looks like we finished Big Mountain probably completely. So this right here is our last DLC to do. So I guess I'm going to need to gather everything, head back to the Mojave, and I'll probably gonna do all that off camera. And then I guess we'll be getting started with the last DLC next time. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. I appreciate you being a web watcher and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!